I would like to talk about Australia's border protection. Swamp by boats, November the 22nd, 2012. Asylum seekers to be dumped in the suburbs. Thousands of asylum seekers will be dumped in the suburbs and banned from getting a job as the federal government desperately tries to slow the flow of boats to Australia. The government has also sent its first group of asylum seekers to, seekers to Papua New Guinea, Guinea's remote Manus Island. As part of a new offshore processing regime and used, used a RAAF jet and Royal Air Force jet to forcibly return a big group of Sri Lankans to Colombo. Immigration Minister Chris Bowen unveiled yesterday stringer measures aimed at relieving pressure on the immigration detention system which had been swamped by asylum seekers arriving in Australia. In a radical step, Mr Bowen said all asylum seekers who had arrived in Australia after August the 13th when the new processing system was put into effect would have the so-called no advantage test applied to their case, cases, meaning they could be left waiting for up to five years for a permanent protection visa. While asylum seekers wait for a resolution to their cases, they will be released into the community on bridging visas, but given no work rights and only limited accommodation assistance and financial support. Here's the key information. Almost 8,000 asylum seekers have arrived in Australia by boat since the August the 13th, 2012. That's uh, two months and more than 15,500 this year in 2012. There are 5,519 asylum seekers in mainland detention centres and community detention in Australia. Another 5,202 people are living in the community on bridging visas. My position uh, also um, on Christmas Island, 2,519 people are detained, 387 on Nauru and 19 on Manus Island. Every single politician in the federal parliament is responsible for this, regardless of which political party they're involved in, because they use it as a political football against one another. That's all they're doing. They're not providing any appropriate border protection for Australia. And this is a question of border protection for the citizens of Australia. Because the accountability of a politician, federal politician or state politician in any nation, not just Australia, is to their own people only. That's where the accountability starts and that is where it stops. So the accountability of Australian politicians in the federal parliament and the state parliament, it doesn't matter what party they're from, because they're all responsible for it, including Gillard, including Abbott. I don't like Julia Gillard for lots of reasons, and I don't like Tony Abbott either. I think they're all corrupt, and they all have to be voted out. Vote independence, vote for new people. But they're all responsible for this. They don't know how to provide proper border, border protection. And my vision for this area, where they have totally failed, uh, they have to provide border protection for the Australian people. And providing border protection for Australian citizens means that you put their well-being first and foremost. And where we've got homeless people, Australian homeless people, and they want to, um, you know, engage, try and get political mileage out of this, this uh, issue, is morally wrong. And what I would do for border protection is have our Navy... Uh, control our northern waters, control Australia's northern waters by patrolling our northern waters with the Navy. And any boats that are intercepted will be taken offshore immediately so that nobody in, it, in the world will be able to come to Australia by illegally, by this way, by a leaky boat. And I say illegally because the first and foremost accountability of any politician in Australia is to their own citizens. And that's where the accountability starts and that's where it stops. And the accountability and the responsibility for this problem is with the politicians in the countries where these people are coming from. They are accountable because they are creating a government, a society, where they are causing their own people to flee. They are responsible for that. They're persecuting their own people causing them to, 
to flee. And a lot of them are Islamic nations. So the types of governments they provide are wrong, morally. They cause suffering in their country and they cause their own people to flee to our country. They are accountable for it, the politicians in the other countries where they're coming from, not our politicians. And so it's a question of border protection for the Australian people. I would use the Navy and any boat that tries to come in this way will never get in because they will immediately be taken to one of these offshore um, facilities where they won't be processed to be able to come into Australia, but they will be either living their life out on that island or they will be processed to be returned to the country where they came from. And if they are destroying, they're picked up and destroy their documents, my position is that they, all of them will be going back to where they came from immediately, if possible, or if they've destroyed their documents that they go to a an arranged offshore processing place, either Christmas Island, Nauru, or Manus Island, and they live there the rest of their life out, and they will never get into Australia this way. Furthermore, I would get the 5,519 asylum seekers currently in mainland detention centres and community detention in Australia, I would get every one of those 5,519 and put them on planes and deport them back to the country where they came from. And if that's not possible, then I would deport them back to, to uh, the offshore facilities, either Christmas Island, Nauru and Manus Island, because this is never going to stop. It'll never stop. The politicians have allowed it to go on and on. And it's a question of border protection and border security for Australian citizens. And the people primarily responsible are the Greens, that the... Um, Sarah Hanson Young, Sarah Hanson Young, the Green Senator, should be sacked. She is involved in treason and she is only advocating for the rights of foreign people coming to Australia. She doesn't care at all about Australian citizens. What about the homeless people? Her responsibility as a politician is to the well-being and welfare and the um, goodwill towards Australian citizens and that's it that's where her accountability starts and that's where it's where it ends she's engaged in treason and she's a traitor so she should be immediately evicted from the Parliament she should be voted out there's no question about it and if these people you know refugee advocates and um, the rights of refugees and, and asylum seekers are traitors to our country because they should be helping homeless people. They should be helping the Australian people who are suffering. The Australian homeless people or the people in Australia who are citizens, Australian citizens, who need a job, who need access to education, who need extra support in their family, who need who need the support. That's their responsibility. That's that's why that's where government tax money has to go, to helping Australian people. And if people come into Australia as refugees in the official way, then, um, that, then and they become citizens, then that's the responsibility that the government has to them as citizens. But not until they become citizens. They have no accountability and responsibility to anybody unless they're an Australian citizen. And that's it. So it's a question of treason. It's a question of some of these politicians being traitors. It's a question of Liberal and Labor politicians having failed the Australian people on this issue by failing to provide adequate border protection and border security for our nation. That is what their accountability is and that is what they are responsible for.